Hey guys, Lord British here. So yeah, recently I uh, reinstalled Quake 4 and I was kind of annoyed to discover that the game basically doesn't really work very well anymore. Um, apparently it's a combination of uh, Windows 10 and new video hardware. Um, you know, because computers get more advanced all the time, aren't they? So uh, some, some of the older games are kind of left in the dust. But uh, even though you play Quake 4 like on the Ultra settings, the game looks like dog shit. It looks like absolute dog shit, and we're going to prove this, so I'm actually just going to quickly load up my game. So you could just have to bear with me a second. And uh, here we are uh, in game, as you can see it's in windowed, because it just makes it easier for me. Uh, but, you know, it, this will still come across, so yeah, we're going to load up crappy textures. So yeah, here we are in Quake 4. Now, if you can see, like, look how bad this looks. Look how awful this is. Like... You know, I remember the game being like sort of subpar, but like, geez, like, and like it's it's the same for the outside area too. So like, if this is your problem, I can actually show you how how it is fixed. Look, I mean, look at the texture on the armor; it's awful. It is so bad. Um, and, and just to prove a point, I, I am playing this on like ultra settings. Like, if I go to system, like graphics quality ultra, like, you know, it's. It, why does it look so bad? But anyway, I'm going to teach you the uh, fix for this, so just bear with me a second. Now, kind of all credit goes to someone on a Steam forum for this. I can't find the post again, unfortunately, but uh, I will post the uh, the config settings in my this video's description, so you'll have them. So um, here we go. This is the, uh, the config, and if we open it up, it's... Um, it appears on the other screen, but uh, yeah, we open it up. There it is. There it is. We have this this uh, lovely config file that I've set up. Now, as you can see, it requires a launch setting, and you need to change something in the actual config files. So what we're going to do is first we're going to set the launch option. Right, so you just you know copy paste copy it, you know, and then you go to your your Steam. You go to your proprieties and you go to set launch options and then you just paste it in here like so. Okay, close. Now the next thing you need to do. Sorry. Next thing you need to do is this one. You need to get the set image and scan all the way down to uh, cache mink. And then you copy it like so. And then you go back to your Quake 4, you go to Proprieties, you go to, you know, Local Files, Browse, lo browse Local Files. And we're going to bring this back over here, because it just it just appeared on my other monitor. And you go to Quake 4 Base, and then you scroll down, and near the bottom should be Quake 4 Config.cfg. And you go into that, and you scroll down until you find the image downsize. So yet again, you go to set image downsize limit, and you scan all the way down to cache mink. You then delete it, and then you paste in the new one, like so. You then save, exit it. Now this is very important. You always have to remember to do this. Some people don't remember to do this, because if you don't do this, it won't work. You need to set it to read only. You apply, like so. And that should be it, guys. You just go to play. Load up the same old game, crappy textures. And here we are back in game. And as you can see, everything looks much better. Much better. As you can see, like the texture on the all the armor's fixed, like so. So yeah, that, that, that all looks a lot better. Um, same with the uh, the body in here, but so that that's kind of that's fixed the issue. So I'm not I'm not sure, what co like I said, I'm not 100% sure what causes this, but as you can see, this fixes it. Um, there is something else to note, and I can teach you another fix for something else. Um, now, one of the issues, if you go to settings and s no, no 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 no, we don't do that. We go to uh, advanced settings. Now, as you can see. Multiple CPU core, no, anti-aliasing off. Now, if you want to put these two on, 
Um, you could probably do it in the config files. I don't know how to do it, but this is how I do it. Right? Because this always turn. Even if you turn it on, it always defaults to off whenever you start the game back up. So you have to do this every single time you launch the game, unfortunately. But uh, so you go to anti-aliasing. I'm gonna have it on, you know, time 16. And, and of course, obviously, I have, uh, you know, multiple C, uh, multiple CPU call. It says I'm gonna have to restart the game. Um, if you restart the game, the settings won't take effect, unfortunately. However, there's a way around this. If you do Control, Alt, and Tilt, like so, and then you can press Vid underscore Restart. And what this will do is you'll get screamed in your ears for a little bit, like like this, and it's gonna just do a video restart. So just wait a second. It should only take like, uh, like you know, about 30 seconds. So there you go. And ooh. now that should have activated. Uh, if I go go in settings, yep. anti aliasing and the multiple CPU call is on. So the game actually does look a lot cleaner now. Looks a lot better. So yeah, um, I hope I hope this helps you out, guys. Honestly, because this was a pain in the ass for me to figure out. I didn't know what was causing it, and you know, here we are. So. Um, of course, everyone's computer is going to be different, so although this fix worked for me, it's not necessarily going to work for you, but um, hopefully it does. I, I really hope it works for you guys, so, um, you know, hopefully this makes it easier for you, because I always find video tutorials easier to follow rather than reading forum posts. Of course, I had to go through the uh, reading the forum post thing, but uh, hopefully this makes it easier for you, so until next time, guys.